Trump says supporters should lay down their very lives to fight CRT. <laughs> Apparently, um, Trump wants you to die fighting for CRT. Look, folks, we talk about this all the time here. We need to stay grounded in life and prioritize threats, okay? Um, there has to be a prioritizing of threats. We can't just be blind to, like, whatever the hell we want to pay attention to. Or we can't just be blind to everything else and only focus on what we want to pay attention to. There's too many things going on. You've got to stay open-minded, stay grounded, you know. Come on now. Um, prioritize. So, like, no one is waging a violent war in support of whatever CRT is. I don't even know what that is. Um, I'm dumb, remember. Like, I'm, I'm a big dummy. I don't even know what that is. So I'm not even here to say, like, one way or the other. Like, I don't know what that is. I would love to talk to someone and um, get in depth on that. But, um, but yeah, we know no one's waging, waging a violent war in support of whatever CRT is. All right, folks, come on. Why would you have a violent response? <laughs> It's insane stuff, insane stuff. And like, look, a lot of us know why he does this for attention and staying relevant is, is part of this man. And a lot of people like him, it's part of their game. Like, I get it. Super unethical, obviously, but um, it's part of his game. So he says insane stuff. Uh, he wants people to take it for face value, even though he doesn't like, you know. Let's talk about, now that I said, let's talk about would, would, would he do the same thing? Would Trump give his life for CRT? No, he wouldn't. Exactly. So that's the kind of way, that's the kind of ways you got to think about this stuff, folks. <laughs> this man would not do, it's interesting. He's saying, um, it's also reminding me of Zelensky in Ukraine, right? Like lots of people praising Zelensky. It's deserved, right? Because he's, because he's willing to, to walk the walk. The man doesn't just talk the talk. He was, um, offered an airlift out. He's probably been offered all kinds of ways to keep himself safe. Uh, but he's like, no, I'm going to stay right here. Um, there's a lot of reasons that contribute to anything in this world, including the morale of soldiers in, an, uh, in a war. But that is a big reason why Ukrainians have high morale. If you take him away, they still would. But that is a huge, huge um, piece of the puzzle for morale in Ukraine right now because he's walking the walk. Would Trump talk the talk or walk the walk? Sorry, he, he, he talks the talk better than anyone. Would he walk the walk? No, he wouldn't walk the walk. He wouldn't. What the hell does that even mean? Give your life to. He just says this stuff for attention. And here we are giving it to him. I don't really care because I'm going to criticize him while I do it. But um, here we are giving him attention. So um, basically Trump's like, give your life for this. Um, but for me, no, 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 no. How about y'all go do that shit and I'll be safe. <laughs> That's how Trump views it. He don't give a crap. Folks, he doesn't care at all. This man, this man has no beliefs. He believes in attention, and that's it. <laughs> I don't even think he believes in money. He could care less about money, boy. He could care less about money. Uh, all right, stay, again, what was the original point of this? Stay grounded in life, prioritize your threats. All right, Ukrainians are, have an actual threat to their lives, right? Like, in, in, if anything that like that's happening to Ukraine happened to us, we would absolutely do um the same thing have a violent response okay but but, but they were violently attacked all right this is <laughs> what is crt is crt are words attacking you are words attacking you are words hurting you guys trump fans and trump are words hurting you are words violence they're not if i have to remind people <laughs> they're not you are weak come on talk about things that matter this stuff is crap like this all comes back to, like, the idea that, like, kids are being brainwashed in the information age. Like, yes, do people, are people susceptible to misinformation? Yes, of course they are. Not great. But this isn't, there's, this isn't, like, I feel like they're looking at brainwashing in, like, the old-timey traditional sense. Brainwashing. It's like there's so much information at your fingertips now. And, yes, that may lead to um, some misinformation among a small group of people who do weird things. But, like, a lot of us have access to information, use it, and it keeps us more grounded than we otherwise would. We're not going to be sold a bunch of lies, get online, and then see that, like, it's all fake. Like, it's so easy to do that now. Anybody tell, sells you a, a bag of, of garbage, you can go online and be like, well, that was a bag of garbage because I can easily prove you wrong. So, um, yeah, prioritize your threats. CRT is not a threat to anybody. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Okay. All right. We're going we're gonna to move on.